What is up guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna do a little drink review to start off this vlog. I got this Ube Marshmallow Espresso drink from uh, Dunkin' Donuts. So we're gonna try them out. I wanted to get more purple in because I heard that the purple color was a little muted, but even like this way, thank you for putting an extra squirt in for me, but it's still a little, I don't know. It's not as purple as I thought it was gonna be, but I'm sure it's gonna taste good. The ube flavor is, it's very light. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I guess I'll mix it all together and see how it tastes. Ooh. Tastes good. I mean, it's not overly sweet. I thought this was gonna be super sweet, especially with the extra pump, and it's really not, it's really not that sweet at all. It's good. Doesn't really taste like ube though. Let's go to the next uh, Halloween item. A spider donut, whoa, oh, wow. It does have two little eyes right there. Oh. So let's take a bite. Tastes like strawberry frosted. I don't even know who I'm gonna drink all this. It just tastes like a coffee. Okay, so we're at a baseball field right now. My phone actually fell underneath my seat. I, I glanced over and I was like, where's my phone? And then I realized it was like gone. And so I'm just in this parking lot and I like tore apart my car trying to find it and I finally found it. So we are going to get breakfast at Hogito's in Belmar. I've never been there before. They're having another one that's gonna uh, open in point. And uh, yeah. That's what we're gonna do. I'm pretty hungry and uh, we're gonna send it there and then we're gonna go straight up to a surf competition. This empty stomach coffee has me buzzing right now. Somebody lost their baby doll, it's kinda creepy. Bro, what, what the hell? <laughs> Happy Halloween. All right, we're taking a quick pit stop because I'm early to look at some Halloween. Whoa, whoa. is this for sale? If we're not really the Halloween type, we have Christmas stuff as well, you know, getting ready. Ho, ho, ho. So, my sandwich is ready. Uh, I got stuck in the Dollar General trying to buy duct tape. This guy behind me that was, like, all strung out, and uh, he was babbling to himself about how there's a conspiracy and that the line always fabricates itself as soon as he gets into it. And, uh, and honestly, dude, like, I sat there for 15 minutes, I kind of feel the same way. So uh, it's like a honey glaze and then some kind of uh, coleslaw and sauce. It doesn't seem to have a lot of coleslaw on it, but maybe it's not coleslaw. It's like pickled something or other. Anyway, this is their uh, famous sandwich. Look at this thing shining in the light. It looks pretty incredible. Let's give it a whirl. Chicken's moist. It's crunchy. Sweet. Savory. Sour. So there's a glaze over the whole thing. It's on a potato roll. And then there is these pickled vegetables on top. I'm not sure if there's another sauce or not, but the pickled vegetables, it's not like a ton. It's just like a little bit. So it's mostly just chicken. The chicken's fried really good. Mm. I come back. It's taking me a lot longer to get up here than I thought. So I think we're just gonna stop at the skate park real quick, get a couple runs in at Long Branch and then uh, and then uh, head up to the contest and film a little bit. Get some adrenaline in. I'm an adrenaline junkie. Second crazy find, starfish on the ground. This has been a crazy day. Dried starfish. So the park was actually pretty crowded, so I ended up not filming anything, but I skated for a little bit, and then I bounced out of there because I realized that it was much later than I thought it was, um, and that I was gonna miss the contest. So, showed up at Seabright. I almost never come up here, but I like this little town. And uh, yeah, there was a pretty good turnout for the event, and I filmed for a little bit, so let's put some music on and uh, see what the event was all about.
All right, we got uh, Seabright. I forget the name already. We got Seabright Pizzeria. Grandma slice. Mm. Mm. Crunchy. Here's the bottom. Garlicky. Basilly. Mmm. This is tasty. Hell yeah. Well, the tomato sauce is really fresh. And then there's that nice layer of like fat from the cheese. And some olive oil. And then some harder cheese on top. It's really tasty. It's like pretty heavy on the garlic. So if you like a garlicky pie, that's crunchy, tastes really good, this is up your alley. Mm. Oh, I'll definitely come back here again. This is pretty unique too. The tomatoes are really good. I'm considering buying a whole pie of this. This is a very unique slice. And look, if you look at the inside, look how the dough is. It's like small and like kind of dense, but at the same time, see how it's like still really airy inside? Dude. That's really unique. Not too heavy, not too light. Perfect. And then it was my turn to serve. So I accidentally started to record in slow-mo, so the whole thing was filmed in slow-mo. Uh, <laughs> so just enjoy this little slow-mo compilation. I didn't find the wave that I wanted to find. I caught a couple waves, but they kind of all closed out. It was pretty tough conditions. Uh, but yeah, got some little slow-mo shots, so enjoy. <laughs> So my battery got drained because I was filming in slow-mo and so this was just the last wave and uh, that I caught before I came in but it cut out right before I finished it so yeah that's it <laughs> if you guys are enjoying the content please like and subscribe and check out my Instagram which is Bubba Digital Surf at Instagram and uh, that's it I'll have some more content coming out for you guys soon thanks for watching